Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get the updates. Very excited for today's beer. It's courtesy of Keith. Thanks so much, Keith. I really appreciate it. He just started a channel, 93 Lumber. I'll make sure I link to that in the description box below. Um, I've not had this beer ever. Um, I, you know, I love it's Alchemist. I love Alchemist, Heady, Focal, you know, so to be able to try another IPA from them. Super excited. Uh, this one's called Rapture and um, Cool Canar. It, you know, it's got a, a old school looking village. Um, the church uh, steeple actually has their um, uh, symbol on it. Bunch of uh, beer, uh, uh, like pint glasses with wings, like angels flying around. Um, so yeah, that's cool. But what's even cooler <laughs> uh, is Galaxy and Citra hopped. So two hops I really like. So I'm really excited to see um, what this beer tastes like. It's 7% ABV and it should be around a month old at this time, I believe. Oh, it says not to pour, you're supposed to drink from the can, etc., etc. Mmm, but then why do they sell glassware? Hashtag proper glassware, hashtag why do you sell glassware? <laughs> Definitely got that, oh, I hate that I'm about to say this, old school haze to it. You know, um, it, it's not, you know, milky. It's not butternut squash, butternut squash soup. It looks like that West Coast orange with a little bit of yellow, but like very unfiltered, you know. So it's, it's, it's beyond just regular, like, you know, unfiltered or whatever. It is, you know, hazy. It's just not that turbid thing that sometimes these IPAs can get into. Um, so yeah, I think hazy is a good descriptor. Um, there was a little bit more head. It's gone away pretty quickly. I do like this glass a lot, but I realize I keep showing you the markings on the glass of what the beer looks like. But yeah, definitely a beautiful color. Let's get into the aroma. Definitely get some citrus. You get that like dinky, you know, uh, uh, thing that they kind of are known for. Um, I do get pineapple, which is nice because I do kind of associate that with Galaxy, but it's not like overly pineapple either. There is, there's a fruit, like the, the juice of an orange, a little bit of the zest, kiss a lemon in there. You know, after I said about the pineapple, I'm getting a little bit more than I initially got. It just, it smells really good. With that dank thing, a little herbaceous note. Yeah, it smells really good. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. That's so good. Wow. That's really tasty. Wow. Um you get that bitterness and it's it's zesty it's like that what i associate like west coast ipas that kind of orange zest there's a little bit of pine mixed in with that dank thing i got in the aroma so i mean just an amazing level of, of bitterness wrapped up with that thankness you do get some sweetness you know so it is a very well balanced beer you know it, it, it's not you know the most bitter IP I've ever had it's not the sweetest IPA I love the balance I think that's why I'm liking this so much is that balance is just so on point wow a little grapefruity and a little bit of that lemon so I didn't get the grapefruit on the aroma I got that yeah, a nice little lemon in there as well. There's reminds me of uh, Flower Power from Ithaca. That galaxy, that the pineapple I'm getting is not straight pineapple juice. It's more in the vein of the hops are giving me something. The closest thing I can you know accurately name is pineapple flavor. Um, so yeah, it's not straight like pineapple juice, but it is that hoppy pineapple thing which um, was a big way I used to describe a lot of beers 
Um, this is before that I ever had this channel. And the one that comes closest to mind is, is Ithaca's Flower Power. Um, yeah, I mean, this is, and it's 7%, man. A little lemongrass. That lemon is is growing into the flavor while oddly not minimizing other stuff I was getting. So that's kind of cool. The, the lemon seems to be uh, to be compounding on my palate. I, I freaking love this. This is phenomenal. Um, sometimes they have the um, those Q codes or they're called where you can like scan and it'll bring up the video. I'll have to find John talking about this beer because I'm really curious what tasting notes he has. But yeah, those are my tasting notes. So thanks again, Keith. I really appreciate it. I think it's obvious I love this beer. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate that. Check me out on Instagram and on tap. There's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.